Thanks for visiting svgcuts.com slash blog. In this video tutorial, we're going to discuss the new updates in Sure Cuts A Lot version 2.006. So the first thing we're going to need to do is install the new version, and we can do that by visiting craftedge.com. And you want to click on the Downloads button, and scroll down to where you see 2.006. And this, of course, is for Windows XP, Vista, or Windows 7. We're going to click Download, and we're going to hit Run. Okay, it's going to download and it's going to begin the installation. If you have a previous version, version 2.005 or before that, it will actually overwrite the current version, which is exactly what you want. So uh, we're going to hit next on the first screen and we're going to hit accept the agreement, hit next, then hit next again and just hit next again. You can create a desktop icon by clicking this checkbox here and then hit next and then hit install. It only takes a few seconds and we can go ahead and launch it. All right, so in version 2.006, the first thing I want to talk about is the, the new break apart option under the uh, object menu. And you'll see that under object, break apart. It's not highlighted right now because we don't have anything that we want to break apart highlighted. So what I'm going to do is actually bring up my web browser and I'm going to navigate to svgcuts.com slash blog where I'm going to download a free file. And uh, this is our blog here. We've got tons of freebies for you older entries and I'm gonna click on this jingle bow okay and I'm gonna click here to begin the download I'm gonna save it put it on the desktop and then I'm gonna hit save okay I'm gonna close I'm gonna close my web browser because we're pretty much done with it now and I'm gonna minimize shortcuts a lot so here's my free SVG file it's in a zip format so I'm gonna double click on it to unzip it and I'm gonna click extract all files Okay, and I'm going to hit next on the extraction wizard. Unzipping it will create a folder with the same name, except it won't be a zip file. I'll show you that in a second here. So we hit next, and then we can hit finish. Okay, so here's our extracted files. Let me close these windows. So we've got two folders, one that's zipped and one that's unzipped. We're only interested in the unzipped version, which is this one, so we can delete this one. I can just drag it right into the trash. Okay, so here we've got two SVG files and just a, a business card basically from our blog. So we're going to head back into Shortcuts a lot and I'll show you the benefits of the break part option. Okay, so we're going to import the SVG. Okay, we're going to go to the desktop and we're going to select the new SVG and I believe it's this one. There it is. Okay, so we've got four jingle bells, a top layer and a bottom layer. So let's say, I'm going to make this bigger for you, let's say that you don't want to cut all four. Okay, you only want to cut the top part of one because, say, that's what you want to do. Or while you were cutting, the three uh, three other shapes cut fine, but the fourth one didn't, and you don't want to cut all of them again. Well, with the elements highlighted, or with the SVG highlighted, you can go to Object, Break Apart, and now you'll see here that all of these are separated for you. Okay, so you can literally drag them and move them. Now. When it does that, as you can see, there's a stray piece here. Okay, so I'm just going to hit Alt, or I'm sorry, Control Z to bring it back to where it was. And what you can do is you can click and drag and select the entire element, and the whole thing moves. Then, if you'd like, what you can do is group that back together by going under Object and clicking Group. And now you'll see that if I unclick and then just click anywhere, it doesn't matter if it's that part or that part, when I drag it, it keeps it all as one grouped element. So let me show you that again. If I click here, I'm actually clicking on this bigger part of the uh, jingle bell. And if I move it, you'll see how this little stray piece here, when it breaks it apart, what that means is it takes any path or, or any shape. Because if you look at this jingle bell, you'll notice that this is one continuous line. Okay. And inside that line is another continuous line. So it will break those apart. So I'm going to hit Control Z and put it back to how it was. And then as I said, if you click and drag and you select that, okay, I'm going to move this one out of the way. If you click and drag, you can select everything within that box. Okay. And every, everything within that box is highlighted now. And I can go to object and group it. And now when I move it, it moves together. Okay. Now if I unclick and click anywhere, if I click on the small piece, 
or if I click on the big piece, it's all one element. Okay, now you can move this wherever you want on the mat, wherever you may have a piece of scrap paper or something that you want to use, and you don't want to use a bigger piece of paper to cut four shapes. Um, you know, this is a, a great benefit. So we can actually delete this, delete this, delete this. All we have is this one jingle bell now, and that's great. This is going to help those of you that have been using Inkscape to do, um, you know, breaking apart of certain SVG files. Um, not a lot of our files contain more than one element inside of an SVG file, but for example, this one does. Um, and this is just an added feature in Shortcuts a lot now. Okay, in addition to the break apart option, there's also the horizontal and vertical alignment button, and you can find that under the position section here. And when we click on these, it literally will just take it and align it horizontally or vertically based on this button. So this one here will vertically align it at the top, vertically align it on the left side, vertically align it on the bottom. This is a horizontal align feature. You click on that, and that's actually that's that's where it's going to be. So we can click on that. That's going to center it, and that's going to basically align it to the right. So center, left, center, right, top, middle, bottom. Awesome feature. All right, so the next feature I want to talk about is the auto fill feature. And that feature is going to allow us to take any shape and copy and paste it enough times to fill up the entire mat. Okay, so let me show you that. I'm going to do that with just a shape. Okay, so I'm going to go to a window and shape library, and I'm going to select a simple circle. Okay, I'm going to close this, and I'm just going to size my circle here. Okay, and then if you go to edit and you go to copy, then you go to edit and paste autofill, you'll see that it fills up the mat for you. Okay, and now this one's going to have to be a little bit smaller, or you can just delete it, and there you have it. Okay, so it pasted it a bunch of times, saves you a lot of time and a lot of work. You can do this with basically any shape or any element on your mat. Okay, and finally, there's one other feature that was added, and this basically allows us to view the uh, the fill or the line for each element and this kind of gives you a, a better visual representation of what the cut is actually going to look like so let me delete this and I'm going to import my my jingle bells again okay and this is what this is what it's actually going to look like when you cut it out this is what the paper is going to look like okay now if we go back to view and show outlines this is more of what it's going going to cut so the, the show outlines option basically gives you more creative freedom. It helps you visualize things more on the mat. Let's say if you you know if you're kind of just messing around trying to figure out a, a design, um, this may actually help you visualize things a little bit better. So that's just a summary of the new features in Shortcuts a Lot version 2.006.